I was drawn to Shepherd Center because of their awesome MS clinic. Uh, because I became a neurologist and initially I was in, in general uh, private practice neurology. But always, even in those early years, even back going back to a resident, I always loved the specialty of multiple sclerosis. Um, and so that, I was drawn to it because I had met Dr. Thrower at some meetings and I, I just knew of their you know awesome clinic they had here and it was kind of like a dream job to me. Yeah, So I was able to come here and visit them for a few days with a, a nurse of mine when I was at University of Florida and we just kind of struck it off and um, one thing led to another and here I am. <laughs> I chose neurology based, I believe in large part, um, effects from my father's illness. When I was six years old, he had a major stroke and was you know, totally disabled following that. And as you can imagine, at six years of age, that had a huge, huge impact on me and affected the whole rest of my life and my siblings' lives. And I believe that that is what really got my um, my interest in the in the specialty of neurology. Some of the greatest concerns I have when I see a patient, uh, maybe newly diagnosed, coming in as a as a second opinion or a, a confirmation of diagnosis, is you know number one, if they've been started on treatment, is that the right treatment? Many times it's not, because I think since we're a, a specialty center, we tend to be more aggressive with our treatments because we're more familiar with it than maybe the community neurologists who don't see as many patients as we do with MS. So that's the biggest concern, and then getting them on the right treatment and making sure that patient does get on the right medicine as quickly as possible and make sure we follow them appropriately and make sure the disease is controlled as, as, as well as we can because that's our goal to make, make sure we have so many options now in, in the treatment of MS that we don't have to settle for you know second best. We keep trying to strive for as near perfection and keeping the disease under control as we can. We can't always do that of course because nothing's 100% but that's our goal.